Hi, this is Pastor Rick. Glad you're with me today. How are you thinking, people? Are you thinking right? Is your mind going in the right direction? Or are you all over the place? <laughs> Paul is in prison in our study today. And he is looking at this Roman soldier and he draws this incredible analogy. He sees the guy, he's got his helmet on and he calls it the helmet of salvation. He says, that's what we need. He says, we need to have, first of all, our way skirted about with truth. We need to be transparent people. We need to have on a breastplate of righteousness. We need to strive to be right, do what's right. We need to be people who are, our feet are shod or ready with the gospel, which means we need to be prepared people. And then he says that we need to make sure that we have, again, the helmet on, the helmet of salvation. I love that verse. I love what he says. Let me read it for you. It's in chapter 6 of Ephesians, verse 17. He said, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. He looks at this Roman soldier and says, hey, you know, we need to dress like him. Be totally dressed. Put on the whole armor of God. And then he says, as he describes each piece, he's describing an attribute that we need to take on. So I, I thought this attribute about having on a helmet was related to how we think. So the question for you is, how are you thinking? Your thinking determines a lot. Is uh, In science, there's a term called neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity, the brain is flexible. That whatever you train the brain to do, that's what the brain does. It is my conviction that as a, as a committed religious person or a Christian person or a spiritual person who serves God and believes in, in Jesus and the resurrection of the dead and so on, that, that there's a line of thinking that comes with that experience and that commitment. Sometimes if we're not careful, we can give people the wrong type of teaching and, and they end up having bad thinking. And bad thinking corrupts your life. It destroys your options. It, it limits your vision. It can make you afraid of things you shouldn't be afraid of. So it's really important when you put the helmet on that your mind, is, I love, love that he called the helmet of salvation. That he, you know, there's a deliverance that should happen in your head. And for some of us, that's where it needs to start. You're do, you doubt everything. You question everything. You're, you're negative. You're, there's this whole deliverance that needs to happen in your mind. And until that happens, nothing's going to change. The way you view men, the way you view money, the way you view all the things we've talked about in, in our teachings over the last several years, those things are impacted by your thinking. If you can't think differently, you can't have differently. You can't see a new opportunities. You know, we've all, you know, seen somebody who's wealthy and said, oh, I wish I had that idea. I wish I invested in that stock. But that's because you didn't think about it. It didn't even come to your mind. Your attitude was, I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I, I, don't know if I want to do that. I don't, you, and I can think of so many areas where I just couldn't think that way. I had limits all over the place. John Maxwell was right in his book on leadership and it, developing the leader within. And he talks about the, the, the I'm sorry, the, the levels of, 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 of uh, leadership and and how people lead and how they think. And then another book he did called The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. It's another good book he wrote. And in that book, he talks about there's their limits. The law of the limit is one of the first ones. There's this limit that happens in your brain because you can't think that way. You can't be licensed to think that way. So I want you to look at your life and say, man, does my mind need deliverance? When it comes to men, when it comes to choosing love, when it comes to, I don't know what area it is, but, but at some point we need to say, Father, I need you to touch me. I need to put on a helmet of salvation, a new way of thinking, new wine and new wine skins. My way of living is not what I want. But somebody said, no, my life is great. Okay, but is it, is it great from a spiritual standpoint? Or is it just you, you know, you've made some good choices, some good investments, you feel powerful about your money and your life and where you are, but your walk with God is almost non-existent. Is that good thinking long-term? I don't think so. So it's not just about having money, cars, houses, and all that. It's making sure my mind's in the right place. I'll give you one more verse. It's in Romans chapter, chapter, one, chapter 12, verse 1. He says, you know, I, I want you to make sure that you're not conformed to the world. I'm going to paraphrase it. That you're not conformed to the world, but you're transformed. Verse 2, Romans 12 and 2. You're transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may be able to recognize God's perfect and acceptable will. God's goal for you is to get your mind to the right place. So let's pray. Father, let their mind be in the right place. Healing and blessing, strength and grace. May they find deliverance. May they find peace. And may they find tranquility in a place they never thought they would. I speak that over their life in Jesus' name. 
Amen. My name is Pastor Ricky Temple. See you next time. Sharpen your life up a little bit. Just takes a few minutes. See you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.